all right everyone here we are with another video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers and investors welcome to the channel to all subscribers welcome back i'll ask for me to you guys to smash that like button and if it's your first time here do not forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell so you don't miss a single video and you're up to date on our chart analysis here with 42 vision so here we are with rdbx stock redbox entertainment inc continuing to hit a dip area and also newer lows in this pullback based off the 30 minute and in the bigger picture on every single time frame right so right now rdbx is in a dip area based off 42 vision it had hit it on friday it continued it and it's trying to reverse now and we have some key levels to talk about and some data points with the short interest the ball free rate and also how many short shares are available but before we break it all down i want to share with you guys the home and opportunities i mentioned this morning over at the discord so the home runs of the day were spectacular and beyond expectations and if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market and receive this edging clarity over the charts with 42 vision check out the link down below in the description to the discord and by joining you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so these are the three stocks i mentioned this morning every single one of them gave jumps of five to ten percent ten percent plus but two of them turned out to be home runs and here are their charts so pgen we caught it in the pre-market pulling downwards, going into strength towards the bell, under a bull indicator, and continuation after the bell, giving a highest point of possibility and full strength on 42 vision of 20% plus. And then we caught MTEK, going into strength, slight pullback, continuation into the bell, even after the bell, and it reached a highest point of possibility of 30% plus, guys. If you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market, check out the link down below in the description to the discord we look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day let's jump into these charts so here we are with our dbx stock redbox entertainment inc hitting another dip area as i stated earlier in the video based off 42 vision and trying to reverse back up i'm going to pull up the bull and bear indicators which you can now gain access to as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected to the spy bot our qqq bot our newly released tesla bot and we have other bots on the way so that you can receive the clarity and edge that you deserve within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities whether stocks are going up or going down and you can now join the members using these resources to maximize in either direction by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts so here we are with our dbx stock under a bear indicator since friday you can see that fake out after the bell jumping up to seven dollars and sixty cents coming back down hit a dip area and a continuation right no reversal this is the first reversal that we see in the last two days from friday's pre-market and bear indicator until now right so the key thing i'm going to be watching is if a bull indicator can pop up on the 30 minute on 42 vision right but before we go ahead and break down the key levels of support and resistance I do want to look over the short interest, the ball fee rate, and what's going on there, as well as how many short shares are available, because in yesterday's video, as we posted it, it was showing at the time of recording, 6,000 short shares available on the chart, okay? Super important. So let's go ahead and pull this up. So as you could see here, the days to cover has been going up, right? It's at 0 0.69. This used to be at 0 0.14, 0 0.11, 0 0.21. It was pretty low. This is getting a little bit higher, putting a little bit of more pressure on shorts if the stock squeezes, right? If it possibly does. Doesn't guarantee it will, but if it does, the shorts have a lot more pressure as the higher days to cover continues to grow, right? Instead of being lower. When it's lower, they have more flexibility to get in and out of their positions. Now, the short interest float here is showing 153%. I still personally believe that is a huge amount of short interest of the total float and then you also have here daily dark pool volume of the short volume ratio of 54 percent so 50 percent or more of the total volume of the day is short okay super important now when you come here the short shares availability is zero at the time of this recording time last change five hours ago okay as of today and the latest borrow fee rate of the short borrow fee rate is 853.53 that is extremely high 
I look forward to seeing your thoughts down below about that and how you feel about such a high borrow fee rate overall for the chart and the possibility of a short squeeze happening again or in the process, right? I look forward to seeing your thoughts down below. So on the 30 minute under a bear indicator, if we go over to the four hour, you could see that it's been under a bear indicator since way up here at $15.36. We've been doing coverage on this since the beginning of the squeeze and in the process of it going higher and also on the way back down. And I always stated, if these runs back up, do not get bull indicators. This bear indicator is going to dominate over the chart. And it has all the way back down so far to $5.72. Now, the stock has broken through key support levels of $6. But the next key support level is down here at $5. Okay, $5.50 is important to me as well. But $5 in the bigger picture is something to be aware of if that gets broken through the amount of weakness could accelerate a lot faster especially how we just broke through six dollars you could see how fast it's been moving back down and rejecting every time it comes back up towards eight dollars and fifty cents to almost nine dollars now we are right now consecutively in five white bars with red borders and the last time it ran downwards it was seven of them back to back before it tried to come back up does that guarantee that on the seventh one it's going to try to come back up? No. I'm going to be watching it though very closely as it continues to overextend here on 42 vision. What I'm going to be looking for is the possibility of a reversal. And what we want to see is not just red bars with green borders, but continue into dark green and bright green and followed by a bull indicator in the process to go ahead and cancel out this bear indicator. That's going to be important. Is it guaranteed to do that? No, but I'm going to be watching that very closely on 42 vision here on the four hour and on the one day, you could see the bigger picture. It's been under a bear indicator and in this consolidation here, I always talked about if we switched over to red bars and we broke through support levels, which we have, we would go lower and here we are back to back red bars as we see it in the charts. So if we go back over to the four hour, I'm going to be watching for the one day to try to reverse get that bull indicator to cancel out that bear indicator and same thing here on the four hour now on the 30 minute if you look at it it's trying to reverse back up i'm going to be watching this within the volatility if a bull indicator can pop up to cancel out that bear indicator continue to go higher and break through key resistance levels so the first resistance is 634 above that would be back up to the highs here friday of 763 those are the two key levels to the upside now to the downside, if this goes back down, the low of the day is the first support to watch. And that was 517, guys. So in between 517 and where it's at now, I'm going to be watching 550. And then if it breaks below 517, it would be $5, a key support level to hold some type of strength within the charts, guys. Now, if you look at the 15 minute, which I'm going to be watching as well, it just got a bull indicator popping up. And it canceled out the previous bear indicator from way up here at 768. I'm going to be watching if this could continue and hold strong on 42 vision. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And let's make some money.